Hey, it's Brian with Gold Arrow Fitness, and this is advanced workout number one. All right, so we're going to start off with a low knee run. So we'll go through a five minute warm up here, and then do some stretches. So you're just picking your knees up a little bit, nothing too crazy. We're going to progress throughout the warm up. Okay, so now we're going to switch to low heels. So you're going to pick up your heels. So you notice how I slightly changed what I was doing. You're just bringing your heels up behind you just slightly. Just try to be athletic through this. Stay up on the balls of your feet. Alright, so now we're going to go back to a, a medium knee lift. So it's just slightly higher than what we did just a second ago. Remember with these you just want to swing your arms. So medium heels now. So your heels are just going to come up higher. Again, this is just the warm up. So you want to push it, but not quite going all out yet. Just trying to get the blood flowing into our muscles. Alright, so now we're going to turn it up a little bit. Now we're going to go high knees. Still on the balls of your feet. Knees are coming up as high as you can get them. Okay, so now we're going to go high heels. So heels are coming all the way up now. Going fast, still staying on the balls of your feet. Bring your heels all the way up to your butt. About halfway through the warm up. Alright, now we're going to go into what's called a log jump. So just pretend there's a log that you're jumping over side to side. Get a little bit of height so you can get over the log. Be athletic, stay on the balls of your feet still. Alright, so now we're going to go into a low kick, so just kicking out a little bit, make sure you're still swinging your arms. All right, so we're going to go into a high kick now, so bringing the feet up more. Try to keep good posture with your upper body. The higher you can get your feet, the more you're going to engage your core. Okay, so 30 seconds left, just going to do jumping jacks now. Make sure your arms are extended and you're not doing the little short arm jacks. Three, two, 
two, one, and stop. All right, so we got a 30 second break in this advanced workout series. You know, there's really not a lot of time to get water, but if you gotta get some real quick, go ahead. Uh, but make sure that you hydrate, you know, throughout the day before you do these workouts because not a lot of time for water breaks. All right, so go ahead and get ready for stretches. Gonna start off with a quadricep stretch. So pull one leg back. Again, you wanna keep your hips out, or forward I should say. Try not to let your leg get too far out to the side. Okay, switch over. Same thing, other leg. All right, hamstrings down, down to one side. You want to keep your legs straight, but you don't want to force your knee to like hyperextend or anything. Just get a good stretch right here in the back of your leg and your hamstrings. Switch sides. Right down to the middle now. All right, then finish up with a groin stretch. So these should be really effective because uh, the warm up got our muscles all nice and warm. So. Your muscles should be really malleable right now. So you're pushing out on the inner part of your legs. Okay, good job. All right, we got 30 seconds and then we'll go uh, through our first round of four. So the format for this, these advanced level workouts is two minutes on, 30 seconds off. Two minutes on, 30 seconds off. Okay, so less break than in the intermediate workouts, and that'll allow us to get uh, more work in. All right, so go back to your spot. We'll start off, and go ahead. The first one is shuffle down. So you're going to shuffle your feet, count up to 20 shuffles. When you get to 20, go down and back up, and then count 20 more, and go down and back up. I'll turn sideways so you can see it. But you're just trying to get those 20 sh shuffles in as fast as you can. Go down, come back up. Okay, now it's going to be a pulse squat. So feet slightly out, going to come down, and then through with the hips. Okay, so just make sure that your hips are coming all the way forward at the top, you're squeezing your glutes. Okay, so now we're gonna go into a low rotational chops, feet slightly out, pretend like you're chopping here. Come back to the middle every time. Want to have that bend in the knees so you're working on your core and your legs at the same time here. All right, now we're going to go down to a one leg push up. So, what you're going to do is lift one leg, do a push up, opposite leg while you're doing a push up. Just keep going back and forth.
Okay. Good job. We got a 30 second break. We'll go through those four another time. So really try to get some deep breaths here. Bring your heart rate back down so we can jack it right back up again. Starting off with the uh, shuffle downs. Going here in about 10 seconds. <clears throat> I'll start off from the side just so you can get a better view of it. And here we go, 20 and down. squats, feet slightly out, bringing the hips through, squeezing the glutes at the top. It's very important to bring the hips through and squeeze the glutes. I know it's kind of a funny workout move, but it's important to do. That's how you're going to get the full benefit of the workout. Just pulsing one after the other. Okay, the rotational chops. So to the side, middle, other side. Make sure that you're staying low still, you're not standing up. Still working the legs. Three, two, one. All right, so now it's the uh, one leg push-ups again. So one leg, and then the opposite. Almost there, three, two, one, and stop. Okay, 30 second break again, and then we'll go through those one last time. You know, stay moving throughout these. We don't have much time, but just don't sit down or stand still. <coughs> All right, so we're gonna start back up here. Three, two, one, shuffle down. Slightly out, bring the hips through. Squat and hips, squat and hips. Okay, low rotational chops. One side, middle, other side, middle. Ten more seconds of these. Then we'll finish up this rotation with a one leg push up again. Then we'll move on to some new exercises. Okay, so one leg push ups. Remember you're switching legs every other push up. About 10 more seconds. OK, 
Okay, good job. 30 second break. Now we're going to go on to a new set of four exercises. Same format. Work out two minutes and then take a 30 second break. Alright, about ready to go again. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. We're going to do an alternating drop lunge. So you're going to go back with one foot and back with the other. It doesn't have to be a huge step back. I'll turn sideways so you can see it. Just a natural step. When you come up, drive through the heel on the front leg. Just every other leg stepping back. Three, two, one. Okay, so we're gonna go one, two, three chops. So three chops on either side. Pushing off the outside leg. Remember to swing your arms. I have to tell myself even to get my arms going when I do these. Okay, so now we're going to go down to plank dips. So all you're going to do is dip your hips down to the ground, come back up into a plank. So this is working on your obliques. About 10 more seconds, then we'll switch. Okay, switch over. Other side, same thing. Stay nice and straight. Tip your hips to touch the ground, and then back up into a plank. Ten more seconds. Remember, it's just a touch. It's not a rest on the ground. It's just touching and back up. All right, it's good. Okay, great job. Um, you got two more sets like that. Stay moving, stay up. We'll go back to the uh, alternating drop step lunges in about 10 seconds. <coughs> Three, two, one. So another thing with this, you want to keep your eyes up, that'll keep your shoulders back. I'll show you what not to do. You don't want to lean forward like this. You want to keep the eyes up, shoulders back. About 10 more seconds here. All right, one, two, three chops. One, two, three, and over. Remember the arms. So just imagine that you're hopping over like a line or a stick or something. All right, plank dips now. So remember, touch, back up, touch, back up. Not resting on the ground, we're just tapping and straight up again. Okay, other side. Same thing. Touch. And up. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. 
Okay, great job. We're gonna do that one more time. And then we're gonna do um, what's called an afterburn for, uh, for two minutes just to finish off. So only four more minutes of exercise left. We're on the home stretch, stay, stay strong. If you're still here watching it at this point, you're doing great. All right, so alternating drop lunges, last set of these four exercises. Remember, as you get more fatigued, that's when you really want to focus on form. You want to be in control, have good form, good mechanics. Alright, one, two, three chops. One, two, three and over, pushing off the outside foot. Working the arms, always working the arms. Three, two, one. Okay, plank dips. <clears throat> Tapping up. Ten more seconds before the switch. Okay, switch it over. seconds. Three, two, one, and stop. Okay, great job. 30 second break, and then we'll have the afterburn. It's four harder exercises than we've done, but it's the last two minutes so we can kind of leave it all out here, hold nothing back. Alright, we got about 10 seconds. The first exercise in the afterburn is going to be a burpee. In five seconds here, I'll turn sideways so you can see it. Three, two, one, and go. Alright, so now we're going to do side suicides, so down, coming up in the middle, if you want to put your hands up, that's okay, if you don't want to, you can stay down, but make sure that your upper body's coming up, and that you're bending out the legs, don't keep your legs straight on this, use your legs to get down to the ground. Alright, so now we're going to do some 180s. Okay, we're So slight bend in the knees as you're jumping, as you land. Always turning the same way when you jump. A few more seconds. Alright, this last one is bounding, so you're just going to pull your legs up as high as you can. This one sucks, but just grind it out. Keep lifting those knees, 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, and stop. 
All right, great job. Uh, this is advanced workout number one. Make sure you do a cool down, stay hydrated. I'll see you next time. Sometimes it just makes sense to work with an expert. Even elite athletes like LeBron James go to personal coaches. A Gold Arrow Fitness Consultant can provide the extra guidance and accountability you need to reach your vision. For more information on fitness consulting, go to goldarrowfitness.com.